Hey everyone, it's Reverend Dr. Katie. I hope you're doing really well. Excuse me, I just have to check my, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe my earbuds were plugged in and then you wouldn't hear me. So I hope you're doing really well uh, today. I am coming to you in the evening time, but whenever you're watching this is when exactly when you are supposed to be watching this. And I wanna talk about um, something in particular. You might've heard my dog's collar shake <laughs> over there. All right, I wanna to talk to you about something very special, very particular, it's a word that comes up a lot. And if you're new to this metaphysical uh, terminology or to the metaphysical community, especially as a Christian, this might be new to you for some of you, you've been talking about this for a while. That word is vibration. And we're gonna link this word vibration to a whole bunch of things, the way you live your life um, and eventually to your life purpose. So that's what the video is about today life purpose is so important and discovering what our particular Christian mission is it's really really important it's really critical um, I think it's one of the most important things we can do so we're all here for joy like that's a life purpose that we all have we all share but we also all have very particular life purposes we all have particular ways that we are called to live out our Christian mission um, we may have many Christian missions. You probably have one overarching one and at different seasons in your life. You're called to live that out in different ways. And one of the things I'd love to help people do is discover what theirs is. And for some people, that's alleviating, alleviating poverty. For others, it's um, taking the fear out of people and uh, helping them embrace joy instead. Um, for other people, it's equality for all people, that's what they work for during their whole life. Uh, for others, it's healing, being a healer out in the world. Whatever your Christian mission is, it is something that we can discover, just FYI, uh, if you don't know what that is. And uh, if you don't know what it is, then let's go back to basics. We're gonna talk about vibration to begin with. So what is vibration? Vibration is your like sum total of all of your energy, your spiritual energy, your emotional energy, your physical energy, the way you think, your mental energy, all of that wraps up into this metaphysical thing that we call vibration. And when we're, at, when we're at really low vibration, we're not living our life purpose. We can't because the only thing we can focus on is like trying to escape this low vibration. And maybe we're, maybe we're living our life purpose in the tiniest little bit of trickles, but not in the big expansive way um, that you desire and that you're here for. Like if you're watching this video, you're, you're here for a big reason. And I want you to be able to live into that big reason. And when we're at a really low vibration, then we're constantly kind of trying to like climb. It's like we're trying to climb the cliff wall um, to get to the top, to even see over the horizon so we can see our life purpose, which is way, way, way off in the distance. And that doesn't mean you can't do good things. You are doing good things, but you're not doing them as consciously as you would like to be doing them. And uh, my, my purpose here, one of my purposes, one of my life missions is to help people, especially metaphysical Christians, live consciously, to live with huge conscious uh, intention so that they can really impact the world at a, at a high, high level. And we impact the world, of course, by starting with us. So when you think about it, you have to get your vibration, the sum total of all of who you are, all the energy of who you are, like right here and now, to be as high, high, high as it can be at this moment. And in 10 minutes, you're gonna want it to be as high as it can be in that moment. And in a year, you want it to be higher than it is now because you've been working, working, working to go up the ladder of your vibration. So the more we go up the ladder of our vibration, the more we can start to impact the world around us, the more we can live into our Christian mission, the more we can do that with joy and without feeling like we're having to climb up the cliff, climb up the wall of the cliff, because we can see what it is, we can be working within it, working towards it, impacting at a higher and higher and higher level. Of course, you are all Christians, you're all followers of Jesus, at, um, however you interpret that in your own life. And so Jesus has called you, called you to do a really big mission here on earth to live out um, a particular purpose. And I would love to know what that is. If any of you have an idea about what your purpose is, please just write it in the comments below. I feel like it's something that's always unfolding. It's always getting more expansive. So for me personally, I'll just, I can just speak about my own experience. Um, probably 10, 12 years ago, somewhere in that range, I was at a low vibration. I was in a, I was in a place in life where, Things were not working out the way that I wanted them to. Um, I was trying to finish this degree that was never ending. Talk about scaling the wall of the cliff. I was scaling, 
scaling the wall of a cliff for like years and years and years. And I was also fighting against the thing that I was called to do, but I didn't know what I was called to do. And there I was like setting myself up for failure against it. And it was when I began to actually study metaphysics and really live into these realities that all of that began to dissolve, right? And my vibration began to raise up. And as my vibration began to raise up, I began to have the ability to see, you know, really put on my, my goggles and to see the bigger things that were out there for me. And they became clearer and clearer and clearer as time went on. And it's still the, the beautiful thing about this is in a week, in a year, in 10 years, I'm going to be at a much higher vibration than I am now. And it's going to be even clearer. And the clearer it gets, the more of a ripple effect I can have. And the same is totally true for you too. All right. So let's, let's talk about, um, before we get to like purpose, let's talk about like vibration. Again, the sum total of all of your energy. And just because you're in a bad mood doesn't mean that you're at a low vibration. But if you're in a bad mood, like 300, 50 days of the year, then yeah, we might want to, we might want to want to really check on your vibration. Your vibration is your ability to hold great joy, to hold great hope, to hold great hopefulness, despite what's happening around you. And when you see that there's troubles, when you see that there's um, problems in society, when you want to impact them, you can impact them from your place of high vibration because you know that you can have an impact. You know that God is calling you to make that difference. When we're at low vibration, we give up. Or we say, what I do doesn't make a difference. What I'm gonna do is so small, it doesn't even matter. That's a low vibration way of thinking. A high vibration way of thinking is, I'm making an impact one person at a time, one animal at a time. I'm making an impact one thought at a time, and that matters. That's a high vibration way of being in the world. Which one would you rather have coming to help you? Would you rather have the person that's like, yeah, it's not gonna make a difference anyway? Or would you rather have the person that's like, awesome, with one little thing that I'm doing, I'm impacting the world in a positive way, and with 10 big things I'm doing, I'm impacting the world in a really positive way. So you obviously we know which one you would rather have coming to your, uh, coming to your aid. We receive this kind of high vibration, uh, as people in the world, people have offered me assistance like this before, and then we can give this kind of high vibration assistance in the world. And it's all part of our Christian mission. All right, so signs that you may be in low vibration. These are just a few of the signs, they're not all of the signs. I've just listed three here for you. Um, you find everything to be negative, like every single thing, and you, you always have a reason why you can't do something, right? So that's a sign of being in low vibration. Um, and whenever anyone suggests something you can do, you find a way to tell them that they're wrong. <laughs> you are not embracing all of who you can be. A uh, second way, people who are drawn to you are consistently toxic and draining. This actually doesn't mean that your vibration is low, but it means that your vibration is not exactly what you want it to be, and you're putting out energy that's drawing toxicity to you, and then that in turn drains you. Oh, that is exhausting. That's totally exhausting. I've totally been there, totally been there. Um, and sometimes we put out um, an energy of like, we need people to come to us who need something, and then we spend all of our time trying to get them something that they need, and we're not taking care of ourselves. All right, so that's just a sign, not necessarily that you have low vibration, but that your vibration has an opportunity to do something different. You have the opportunity to still help those people without being drained, All right? So that's what I want to communicate about that. Um, the third one is you know, tired and tiredness and fatigue are your constant companions. Um, so if you find yourself constantly drained, especially if there's toxic people in your life, um, and you're not sure what to do about that, that's going to not necessarily mean you're in low vibration, but it's going to keep your vibration from being as high as it could be. And that's really where we want to um, move towards. So how does this all relate to life purpose? Again, uh, I'm going to just repeat what I said at the beginning of the video. The higher your vibration, the more clearly you can investigate your life purpose, the more impact you can have. You may not even have total clarity on what your life purpose is, but if you have high vibration, you're still living it. You're still doing it. You're still working towards it. Every action that you take brings you closer to that. And that's, you know, as Jesus followers, we're here to have impact. We're here to be the impact. We're here to create what we call in very theological terms, the beloved kingdom. You are God's beloved. We are sharing the beloved. We are creating this kingdom, a beloved kingdom,
here on earth as Jesus taught us to do. The higher our collective vibration, the higher your personal vibration, the more we can do that, the better impact we can have. So I love working with people to figure this out. Um, I love it when my clients say, I've got it. I have it. I've got this inkling of what this is. Um, I'm going to be doing this to impact the world. And they're making that plan. They're doing it. They're starting to live that way. And their vibration is raising higher and higher all the time. Like there's nothing better to me in the world to, than to have that joy be complete. All right. So if there's any questions, please do write them in. I will respond to them. I don't see any right now. I see friends here. Hey, friends. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, really glad to see you. Um, Again, it is my joy to serve all of you. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. You can private message me. You can send me an email. My email is katie at katievalentine.com. Write in any time. I am here to serve. Um, if you are interested in these kind of results for your own life, let me know. I would love to help you get there. All right, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Blessings, and I will talk to you soon.